This is the College of St. Scholastica, located on the freezing cold hilltop of Duluth, Minnesota. It's at this Benedictine College where 14 college students are about to begin the craziest semester of their lives. They will compete in a 10 week long battle for power, prizes, and glory. Each week, two will be nominated for expulsion and one will leave the class. They will be forced to make alliances and decisions while balancing school, work, sleep, and their social lives. This intense game of competitions, deceit, and secrets will overtake their lives as they battle for the $500 grand prize. Only one will be able to survive the game, the twists, and the semester. Find out who comes out on top in this crazy game. This is Big Brother. Secrets of Scholastica. Everybody, welcome to Big Brother. Um, for the next semester, about 10 weeks, you guys will be competing in challenges. Uh, you'll be forming alliances with people and basically battling for power the entire time that you're trying to deal with school and social life and sleep. This game is always going to be running through your mind. So take a good look at the people next to you because you could be standing next to your best friend or possibly your worst enemy. Um, but just be ready to bond because bonding to the people around you is super important in the game of Big Brother. So, and everybody knows the motto, right? Expect the unexpected. That's no different for Big Brother, uh, Secrets of Scholastica. There will be twists, crazy things are going to happen, so you always have to be ready to flip your game in a moment's notice. The other thing I want to tell you is because the theme is Secrets of Scholastica, the Halls of Tower hold many secrets. If you find the secrets, they can grant you power. They can grant you um, influence in the house. So finding these powers are crucial to helping you win this game. Okay? So we're going to let a few of you go in. So you're going to go down, there's some food and that sort of thing. So first people that can go into the Big Brother game are Felicia, Lindsay, Anna, and Emmanuel. You guys can go on in. I was so excited when I found out I was going to be a part of Big Brother. It's my senior year here and I kind of just want to do all the big stuff, you know, and go out there and make myself known. The next people that can go in is Aaron, Anthony, Michael, and Marjorie. Yes. You guys can go on in. <laughs> you just like kick the ball. <laughs> I'm always big layers. <laughs> Find it out that I was playing Big Brother. I was so excited. I was kind of nervous, but I was like really pumped up for it. I love Big Brother. So I'm super excited to be part of Big Brother. Um, I've been a big fan of the show for a really long time, so. Um, getting the opportunity to actually play the game is really exciting because now I get to kind of like put all my knowledge to the test I've always thought that like I know the gameplay. I know the strategies. So now it's time to put it in action Okay, uh, the next people I can go in is Ronnie Taylor and Jessica you guys can go in Blonde, when I was first on the steps, I was pretty anxious to start the game because um, I wasn't sure what to expect because, you know, expect the unexpected, obviously. But, uh, I don't know, it's just one of those things where you, you're you excited but at the same time you're nervous because obviously you don't want to go home because, you know, money's on the line and mama needs a new pair of shoes, right? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hey. 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 
Okay, so the last three, Andrea, Natasha, and Cole, you guys can go on in. When I was getting ready to go into the game, I was really nervous just because I don't really know a lot of the people and it seemed like some of them already knew each other pretty well and I wasn't sure where I'd really be at. Uh, yeah. Are we like not doing it? So like everyone gonna go home and like Facebook yeah. creep everyone? Right. Like, like, I'll feel free to do it. I'll feel free to do it. It's Ronnie or Sloan. It's Ronnie or Sloan. On Facebook it's Ronnie. There was another girl named Ronnie. I thought I was like, I thought I was a big girl. So I accepted it. And I have some weird girl. I don't know who it is. Sorry. It's not you. I was like, oh, that's a picture of a cat. Nope. No, I was so excited like getting to play a game and like getting filmed for it. I don't know. I guess being like in the theater like ever since middle school like I love the camera in front of me. So getting to play and voting off people and like having this be a competition with the camera rolling like it's, I don't know, it's really cool. So I'm super excited about this honestly. Everyone seems pretty friendly. I like the group that we have here at Big Brother. It's a pretty diverse group. There are definitely some people I know really well, but there are some people that I didn't know at all. So it's kind of a cool mesh of people. Yeah, yeah I mean, you can start us off there, too, girl. Yeah. All right. Well, I just told you my name. It's Taylor Gro, or T Gro. Um, I am a sophomore here. Uh, I'm studying computer science. Um, I play tennis and excited to do this. Taylor, okay, so when I first saw him on the steps, um, I was kind of excited, but I didn't know like what to do because what I thought about was I was going to form an alliance with him. So when I first saw him, that's the first thing that came into my mind that this is it, alliance with him. Okay. Yeah. Taylor, um, he's an interesting one for me. I actually went to high school with him. I didn't know him like at all. He was on the cross country team with me, but we never really ever talked or hung out or anything. So that's something that definitely I will use to my advantage if I need to. Um, definitely something that I feel like I could exploit for my own personal gain. So I'm definitely willing to do that if I have to. Okay. Hi, my name's Michael. Uh, I'm a senior. Um, I'm also studying computer science. Um, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I like Big Brother, so <laughs> here I am. I came to this game knowing Marjane and Anna. I mean, Anna kind of turned out to be a psychopath in the end. I don't know how it's going to work out because she's a big firecracker. And then Marjane and I, I don't know if people have noticed that we're pretty close. We're basically best friends because we met in MLO. So she's like my other half. So it's really hard not to be like, Marjane. She's, she's so funny, but I can't laugh. Anna, my first impression of her was um, I was a little intimidated because I don't know, she, she, I guess she, she kind of puts off this vibe that she, she's a tough cookies. I'm Erin Fay and I am a sophomore here. I am the president of the Queer Straight Alliance. And I double major in business management and organization behavior. I'm Jessie. I'm a third year abroad graduate in December and I'm a psych pre-OT major, and this should be fun. My name's Andrea. I'm a nursing major, and I'm a junior this year. And I have watched Big Brother since it started, so I love it. <laughs> My name's Natasha. I'm a freshman year, nursing intended, and I have a boyfriend, so we are show me. For my first impressions out of everyone, I would say um, some of them were really quiet, but there was three girls that stood out to me, and they were I felt like they were the biggest competition, and I was scared, definitely scared of them. I'm a sophomore, I'm an ex and and I've never seen an episode of Big Brother. <laughs> Cole 
kind of took me aback a little bit when he said that he hadn't seen any Big Brother and that, oh, I'm just going to go through the game without any, you know, um, going over episodes or something. Why? I mean, we're all in a game. You got to do research. You got to know how the game is played. I just think it's a little shady that he wouldn't do a little bit of research behind it. Well, my first impression of Cole is that he's cute, but, you know, he seems like he'd be, like, like everyone in um, the game that I've seen in season 17 where they all say, if there's a threat, you must get rid of it, and he looks like one of those major threats, so. Hi, I'm Felicia Traum. I'm a freshman, and uh, my major is nursing, and I am an averagely over average tall Asian. People don't know that me and Felicia are, like, really close. So hopefully I can keep that a secret so people don't get me out, but it's fine. Okay. Felicia's a question mark for me right now, um, definitely, because, you know, she is kind of like associated with Marjane and Anna, and, you know, that's kind of a target right there, but um, I definitely like, I like Felicia. Hi, um, I'm Anthony, I'm a senior here. Uh, I'm a business manager, marketing and uh, management double manager. Yeah, Hi guys, I'm Lindsay. I'm a senior. I was biology pre-dental, but now I'm just kind of biology. Kind of the I also study theater, so it's a fun little mix. And I'm kind of short. Oh my goodness, I love Lindsay. Her personality is amazing, but I don't know, it's a little too, like, optimistic it's kind of scary a little bit but i do enjoy it it's just that she might be like fighting her way through happiness love Lindsay coming in i know like i have Lindsay's back i think Lindsay has my back for sure at the end of the day it is a game and if it comes down to it i'm gonna fight for myself and i know Lindsay will fight for herself hi my name is veronica but you can call me Donnie. veronica's not a professional name <laughs> 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 i'm a senior here at Thanks Classica. Um, my major is communications with an emphasis in journalism and my minor is in photography. I was pretty intimidated by Ronnie at first because she um, is very outgoing and has a lot to say and that kind of makes me nervous because I'm not really sure what she's going to be, um, where her head's going to be at or how she's going to be acting behind the scenes if she's the same way when she talks to other people. It seems like she'd be pretty willing to throw people under the bus, I think, and do whatever she can to get through the game. I thought Ronnie had like a really outgoing personality and it kind of scared me a little bit because she's kind of like a loose cannon. I'm a little, uh, I'm a sophomore here. I double major in film and journalism and I minor in marketing. Um, <clears throat> I grew up in Ghana, but I live in Plymouth and I'm really excited about it. Some people seem really nice, really happy. Um, I kind of hit it well off with Anna, I feel like. She has a Zelda tattoo, which is immensely cool. Aaron's really nice, laid back. I don't know, we were goofing off a little bit when we were eating the cheese and sausages. And I mean, I don't know, there were a few girls who seemed a little standoffish. They didn't really move from their chairs very much or seemed to want to interact with a whole lot of other people. Yeah, I don't know the friends. Do you all get to know each other pretty well? Alright, it's getting good. Good sure. Just you can just find me. What? <laughs> Alright, well, we're going to get started with the first <laughs> helpful competition, but first, before we do the challenge, I need you guys to discuss something and come up with an answer as a group. I want you to tell me the two people who have bonded the best, the two people who you think have the best chemistry, have really made a solid connection. So talk it about when you have the two people who you think have the strongest connection. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when Jake, you know, came down and had a class and said, like, you know, pick the two people that bonded the most, like, I knew that was a setup. So I was definitely not going to nominate myself. And, like, when somebody, um, I think it was Aaron or Felicia, maybe, like, nominated me in Marginet, and I was like, no one vote for us because I knew that was a setup. No, I know this. <laughs> Otherwise, I mean, find a way to figure out two people who would think. Talk about, you gotta, you gotta give me an answer of the two people who think have the strongest chemistry, the best bond. Oh, man. Well, <clears throat> I'm really glad that I distanced myself from Lindsay, somebody who I did already know coming into this game. Um, just because had we been sitting alone talking together, people might have thought, uh, let's go with them. Yeah. 
two on a ball. Yeah. I mean, I won't deal with it because, like, I was talking with them. Well, she was, like, yeah. right with us the whole time. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I think it's just meant to be your ball. When we were told that who were the two people who bonded the most, I thought um, those two people would be the first HOH. So I was like, I was kind of confused. I didn't know whether I should nominate myself or I should nominate somebody else. So I mean, I was like super confused because I didn't know what to expect. I strictly sat away from Marjane for number one because I didn't want to be associated with her yet. And then Anna, since Anna said we were from MLO, I was like, oh crap, you just blew up my gate. God damn it. God damn it, my game! And I was like, okay, Marjane, she, she can point at me. Hopefully she just said her and Marjane. I wasn't really listening, but I think she said all three of us were from MLO, and I was like, god damn it. So, so I hope they didn't look at me and Marjane, but then they look at Aaron and I, because we had like this connection right away, and I was like, oh no, shoot, shoot. Just, just. Okay, fine, I'll send me and her name. <laughs> <laughs> he did bond really well. Yeah. Hey, like, I mean, no one else is saying anything, so. So when we were told to pick the two people who bonded the best, I was just thinking like, please God, no one suggests me, no one suggests me and Lindsay. That's what I was afraid was gonna happen because, uh, because I know Ronnie for sure knows like how close me and Lindsay are. So I was like, Ronnie, if you open your mouth and say like, oh Michael and Lindsay, I was gonna be real pissed off. But <laughs> no one did. And then Emmanuel and Taylor just kind of like volunteered for it. And I'm like, yep, you got it, you got it. It's not me. We're good. So. <laughs> Taylor Emanuel. Does anybody have anybody else who wants to do it? Should we just do show hands? Who wants them? Yeah. Let's just do it. Okay. Who wants them? Okay. Well, I was going to say, well, if they want it. You can stand up and join me up here for a moment. All right. Okay. 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 All right. So, um, the two of you are the big brothers of dynamic duo. So what this means is, as far as I'm concerned, there are not 14 players, there's 13, and you two are one player in this game. So here's what it means. For the challenges, you have to decide who will be participating in the challenge to play on behalf of your team. Um, you will form alliances together. If you win power, you'll decide together on who you'll not and you'll use for the power of veto. Um, together, you will vote people off, and more importantly, together you will be voted off. So, so you are no longer individual players, you are one dynamic duo. So there are now 13 players. Um, when I first found out I'd be partner with Emmanuel, I had mixed reactions. I was happy it was with someone that I knew, but at the same time, I was a little bit disappointed because um, I realized that having two people were at a disadvantage because people will look at us and they'll think we can eliminate two people right after competition right away. So that's why it's kind of a, it's a negative, but there's a little bit of a positive that we get to choose who gets to compete every week. Yeah, I mean, that's it. Um, I thought we were going to be like the first HOH when they were like, oh, we're two people bonded well, you know? And then we found out that we have to be like together, you know? I mean, it's like 50-50. It can be good, it can be bad. Um, we have like a strategy that we have to like use every single time. But I mean, if someone like does something wrong, then it feels good to put over us. I don't think they have anything in common. Those two don't have anything in common. They they look like they don't know each other. Um, but if they do, they're hiding it really well. Really, really well. They're pretty good actors, I gotta say, but I don't know. Okay. I don't know how I feel about the twist about them being paired together yet though. I think that they might have a target on their back just because they're they're different, like because they're a pair and everyone else is single, so anything that makes you stand out isn't a good thing. The twist? I don't know. I, I guess it kind of surprised me and it kind of sucks but, and I'm like super glad that nobody paired me with anyone, but uh, I mean they wanted it to be the power duo team, so more power to them if they can make it far. <laughs> All right, let's do it! All right, so here's how it's gonna work. On go, you are gonna run out over to where those colored uh, squares are, and you will bring back a series of numbers that I'm asking for. If that is one round, you might need to bring back one number, other times you might bring two, three. You're gonna put them into an equation, and you're trying to make the highest total you can. You gotta be quick because there's each round there's one less spot for you to come back to. So the last person back is eliminated from the challenge. But also be warned because if you 
come back and you have the lowest total, you are also out. So if you are low or you are too slow, then you go. That was the challenge. So we call low and slow go. All right? Are there any questions on that? I was a little nervous for the competition right away, just looking at it and looking at the people around me. There are some really tall people who are great runners. I'm a little short. I mean, I did track in high school a little bit, but not that extensively. As Jake was explaining it, I was so confused because I was like, man, I have to do mental math. Like, no, I'm out right away. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. So, oh, I know. Yeah, so the first one you're looking for, you're looking for one number, bringing back the highest number you can find. Go. Let me spread, don't be last. For the highest number, there's 12 spots. You get a spot on one of the circles. My strategy for the challenge was uh, don't be slow, don't be low, and just go. Looking for the highest number you can find. I was pretty mad after because some guy named Cole stole my spot and stepped on my feet and pushed me out of my circle. So that was not okay with me. And now I'm gunning for him. I picked up three numbers, one was seven, one was eight, and one was ten. Clearly I ran with the ten one and then it, well, I got out. I flipped over the cards that weren't flipped over yet typically because I knew that people obviously didn't look at those ones yet. Okay. Uh, 39 plus 41, 80. Yeah, 80. So Michael's at the lowest, 80. 49 plus 42. So that's over 80. So you're still in. 85 and 40. You're still in. 20 and 65. That's over 80 also. 27 and 40. That's not quite over 80. So we're now at 67 as the total. 8 and 27. <laughs> okay, so that's 35. So 35 for lower. That's over 35. 80 plus 46. That's over 30. All right, so Aaron, tell you the most. My strategy was really just run as fast as you can, grab a couple numbers, and just come back. And I did pretty horrible, so. Our next one, I'm looking for a number, minus a number, and then divide it by two. Okay, so I'm looking for a number, minus a number, and then divide it by two. Okay, go. Remember, spot one through eight is my strategy. I wasn't sure at first, but it was like, run as fast as you can. So 256 minus 3 is 34, I'm guessing is what you want. So you might have to get the calculator out. If you want to calculate what you have right now to help me out, um, 222. 222 divided by so 111. Lindsay's is 111. 24 and a half. 24 and a half, so that's the lowest right now. Um, four. Sorry, can I see the numbers just to make sure? 31 minus, well, I can't see the other one. 23, yes, so four. Four oh is God. the lowest. 400 minus seven. Okay, that's definitely a high enough. So <laughs> 16 minus one, so 30, 29 so and a half. Yeah. 12 yeah. minus one, 11, uh, five and a half. And Katie okay, well, was at four, I, I believe, right? Second big number. So 199, but you were good to go. Okay, that's 19, which is like it No, 16 <laughs> minus three. Oh, yeah. So 13, seven, six, you're, you have a high enough number. A number 
plus a number, minus a number, so three total. Go. <laughs> a number, plus a number, minus a number. Spots one through six, spots one through six. Ah, number one. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, I think it was Andrea that was in first. I think. Dang it! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just kidding, you know? um, Okay, so. No, 180, here, 185 minus 7. So, 175. So, 103 is the lowest right now. 44 minus 2, 40. I thought that was 100. I got 15. <laughs> okay, so Anthony's at 15. I got 18. 18. Okay, and. Go. So, Anthony, sorry, you have the lowest. You are out of the round. Oh, yeah. That's what I said, too. It does. Like, when you, like, look spots. at this side. Okay. Yeah. Oh, actually, look at this. It's going to be a number <laughs> divided by a number. Seven. Go. One through four. Spots one through four. You're looking for a number divided by a number. Well, as soon as I looked up, I was like, oh, crap, there's no way I can catch up. And then Cole was slowing down, and I was like, I know you're not going to let me get in front of you because you're, you're a little, little jerky jerk. Spots one through four. Spots one through four. <laughs> 64 divided by one is 64. 19 divided by one is 19. Uh, oh, 17 divided by one. Oh, 17. So <laughs> oh, so we have a tie. Um, so Cole, since you were here last, you'll be eliminated from the round. So I'll take those. I was really happy when it was down to Michael and I. Um, I haven't talked to Andrea a whole lot other than talking about high school, but I thought our chances of Michael or I winning were pretty good, you know, 66%. Times a number divided by a number. Go. As we're running out there, I'm just like, hey, uh, like to Andrea and Lindsay, like, whoever wins, like, can we all agree that all of us are good for the week? We'll all keep each other safe. And she didn't really say anything, so then I like, kind of said again, I was like, are you good with that? And she's like, yeah. So I felt okay. Number. number times a number divided by number. You're looking for spots one and two coming back. Spots one and two. Once we were at the other end, Michael was like, all right, guys, do you want to make a deal? And he said, whoever um, wins this won't put the other two up. And we're all like, yeah, deal. We're good. All right, sorry, Lindsay. What is it? Number times a number divided by a number. 100 divided by 1. So 100. So 12 times 13. I do not, is that, I've, that's over 100, so Andrea, congratulations, you're the first, you can go over. Um, so yeah, so Andrea is safe for the week, um, she'll be nominating one of the 12 of you, and keep in mind, if you're nominating Taylor, that means Emmanuel's up also, and same with if you nominate Emmanuel, they're one team. So congrats, start figuring out your game, making your plan, and I'll see you tomorrow. So. All right. It felt good to win the first HOH, but at the same time, it makes me a little nervous because there might be a target on my back now just because they know that I can win competitions. But at the same time, if I wouldn't have won it, won it then I thought I probably would have been on the block. So. I'm to subtract things. <laughs> so I'm really sure it's like, oh, grab the largest numbers. Oh, wait, I'm subtracting these. Yeah. I don't think Andrew is the worst case scenario being HOH for Michael and I personally and hopefully because we were the last two with her she doesn't see us as quite a threat and Michael did try to make a deal with her when we were picking out numbers so hopefully she'll honor his deal and I'm kind of a part of it from what I take it so hopefully it works out like that. How do I feel about NJ becoming the first HOC? Uh, I felt, I don't know, nervous because I think she's an upperclassman. So her plans might, might like try to get the freshmen out, so. I had no problem with her winning. I feel like she wasn't a target to me. I don't think I was a target towards her, like. I'm happy because she's like my only friend so far. And I don't think she'll nominate me. I found that 256 one. Uh -uh. I was thinking about doing that. But no. <laughs> I just, I, just went, I went for the ones known for Dover. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
So that was kind of a nice process. Yeah, well, when I first got into the first number one thing, I literally signed my hand down and I looked up the numbers that were in my hand. I'm like, this will work. And I just like, <laughs> the first numbers I picked were seven and eight. I was like, what is this? Are they all this slow? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I picked ten. Yeah. When I saw when I needed a big number, I was like, I'm not grabbing anything under 20. Oh. So that's, that's yeah. That's what I was yeah. Oh. yeah, when I got my 45, I was just like, okay, then we came back and we were like 100. Even like when I was in the 30s, I was like, I'm oh, more. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I knew there was like hundreds in there. So I like, yeah. I tried to talk to everyone, get to know everyone. Um, I tried texting people, but that didn't seem to work out. I mean, I, got, I texted Michael, Andrea, of course, Marjane. Marjane and I are so close. So basically after that, Marjane and I talked and talked and talked, so. Surprisingly, everyone didn't know that we were really close and basically <laughs> best friends. Good right. thing I sat far away from the <laughs> Right. I sat far <laughs> away. It's like, I said this to Adam, but we're not the best of friends. Yeah, but the bad thing is that she was from Amalo. Yeah, she said it. I was like, you don't- That bitch okay. screwed up my game. I'm sorry. I stopped cussing. <laughs> that girl screwed up my game. She's and, like, we're from Amalo. Like, and she didn't point at me either. Did she point at me? No. See? So it's good for my game, bad for your game. Hey, oh, yeah. If I get out, you get out. That's how it's gonna work. Me? Yeah. Why would you get out? Why can't I? I can survive on my own. No, if I get out, you get out. Cause that's gonna work. How do you know? Cause just no I make friends easier than you. How are you saying that I'm incapable of making friends? A little, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> but yeah. I personally didn't really know anyone. I maybe saw him in the hallway or such and such, but I felt like um, Marjane, Anna, and Felicia for sure were really connected at the beginning. So that kind of made me nervous. And same with Lindsay, Michael, and um, Ronnie. So I felt like I would be like a weak link, but as I got to know everyone, I feel like they kind of were like in the same position I was. Get them out without them having a chance to save themselves, so it's called backdooring someone. Mm -hmm. So like everyone who's like the nominees and the HOH and the people who are playing all agree to like use the veto, so you could put up the target. Okay. So we have, we could go to Andrea with that plan, be like, hey, a lot of people want to call out. It could be a potential threat in the long run, mm -hmm. and last thing we want to do is have it dominated by someone with, like, physical strength. Yeah, yeah. which yeah. it looks like you did. He's yeah, fast. Sure. It's a mm -hmm. fast little bugger. But, so yeah, so we could pitch the idea of putting him up or backdooring him, mm -hmm. or... What are your other options, like, thoughts of, like, trying to squeeze him out? I mean, to get out? Let's break up that group of three. Did that's you notice what, that? That's what I was saying. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was saying, I was like, I'm gonna try my wiggle my way in, so like, if we do power up with them, us three, with them three, like, we would basically- Even if we have zero intention of being yeah. loyal to them, if they come into power, if they think we're good with them, like- We can use them to our advantage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I don't really want to like, throw a lot of people's names up, just in case it gets back to them. But but, if she asks for names, I'll just say that her calls name. Because if there's like, three, four people who all want, him out, then that's an like easy at the same time, a lot of, yeah. like, people are quiet, so they're probably like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. and but then we need to start waiting for that. We can't just sit back. And that's why I'm like, we need to jump start, start it. Yeah. We need to jump start something. Well, like, Aren't they upperclassmen, though? Mm-hmm. I know Cole's a sophomore. Michael's a senior. Just, just remember that. Michael's a senior. I think Veronica is, too. Yeah, I think so. I'm not sure. But yeah, I kind of stalked everyone on Facebook and have them as friends. <laughs> I didn't I do got, all that. I gotta do what I gotta do. I just want to get all the upperclassmen out, because I feel like there's a rumor going out there taking all the freshmen out. I was like, that's not fair. But there's four of us and four seniors, so I mean, even the playing feel out, but I don't know. You could even tell, like, right away, like, the um, these three girls were, like, hanging out with each other, like, beforehand, um, Felicia, Marjane, and Anna, and I feel like everyone is on the same page thinking, like, the three of them are gonna work together. I definitely had friendships, uh, like, Marjane and Felicia, we were in MLO together, so coming into this, we're like, oh, like, maybe we'll play it off, like, we don't know each other, but everyone seems to know that we know each other, so, I mean, and it doesn't really seem that it's backfiring, so I don't think that it's gonna be really a big problem. We'll put a bass knees, like, Yeah, we should, you should, we should text, um, uh, Tosh. Tosh. And Andrea. Oh, yeah, because to make sure, like, Andrea, like, it's like, I don't know what it is, I just want to introduce it, because I didn't talk to her yesterday. Yeah, let's, like, fix that. I definitely talked to Andrea yesterday morning as soon as I saw her, and tried to explain 
how I definitely will have her back next week if I win HOC. I would not put her up for nomination, and I'll do everything in my power to keep her around. I see you're not sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm thinking, I mean, definitely if there's people that don't come up and talk to me, I'm going to be thinking about that. But um, as for, like, targets, I'm not really sure. Because I feel like I'm, like people know each other, and they'd be mad if they put up certain people. And, I mean, it's a game. Yeah. You have to play the game, right? Yeah, the but way. I don't want the target on my back from day one, obviously, so. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Is there anyone, like, specifically that you don't want on the block or, like, would think would be good on the block? I mean, <laughs> strategize. Sometimes if you put people on the block, they have a chance to not get voted out. Yeah. And sometimes you can, like, have you heard the word, like, I think it's called back to back. Back yeah. So like you have to remember like you can still you can still like that door people and uh, personally like as like threats wise I feel like my the biggest threat for everyone would probably be like well who knows where his head's at and I'm not the only one that was like thinking that and I'm not like trying to like you know like just like straight up say one person but I've heard a few people say his name or whatever yeah I would say. All right, I'll let you go so you can meet with other people. Um, Lindsay, Michael, Ronnie, they seem pretty close. Um, and the three girls, Anna, Marjane, and Felicia, they seem like they're kind of close as well. So I noticed those people right away. And I think, um, uh, then obviously now that Taylor and Emmanuel are together, that's kind of a threat as well. Going into the nominations tonight, I'm a little nervous because I'm not, I don't really want to rock the boat too much. So I've kind of been asking people where their heads are at and like who they wouldn't mind seeing on the block. I think I'm going to be safe tonight. But you know how Big Brother is. You say you're safe and you're the main person going home. So. Andrea did tell me that I would be safe. And she definitely seems like a pretty straight up player. Like, I know she knows the game. She knows it's going to be about backstabbing and lying. But I was like, you know, it's week one. She's a big enough fan. She's not going to be making enemies this early. No, I had no reason to think I was, you know, up for nomination or anything, or expulsion. Um, but I'm fine with her. I don't think she has anything against me or anything for me either. She might she might throw me in under the bus to get rid of me earlier. I'm not sure. I established a, a pretty good alliance with Andrea. Um, there's no telling if it is a true alliance or if it's just something that she said, because I know she has met with almost everyone. I would like to see Cole nominated, because I think he's a little bit of a shady character, and I think he could be, potentially be really strong physically later in the game. Hello. <laughs> Everyone's quiet. <laughs> Alright, so it's my duty as head of class to nominate two people for expulsion. The first person that is safe is Veronica. <laughs> Does it matter which slot I choose? The next person that's safe is Taylor and Emmanuel. Oh, <laughs> are you one key? <laughs> it's your face. Still, you're welcome. <gasps> oh, uh, Stella. The next person who is safe is Jessica. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Personal. It's just I don't really know where your guys' heads are at because you never came up and talked to me game with me. So that's basically why you guys are nominated. And then good luck in the veto and everything can change then. So. Veronica. Both times. <laughs> Oh, what? I'll see choice. Okay. Um, let's do... Hard name. Last one. Natasha. See you all at the Power of Veto tomorrow. Good luck to everyone. But remember, everything can change with whoever wins, so try your hardest. <laughs> All right. Really hurts that I've been just put up because, because she said that I didn't do any game talking with her. So just because I'm not doing game talk with her doesn't mean I'm doing it with other people. So ugh, it just irritates me and it was heartbreaking, but you know, whatever honestly pissed off like I got total bitch face like everyone saw it like how angry I was to begin with and then when I had to like move by her to do um to pick for vetoes the other contestants yeah everyone could see how pissed off it was all right so I think I made the right decision with nominations a lot of people wanted to go after Cole for the duo but I think it's the best in my interest to live leave the big target in the game so since I have a target on my back because I won a competition, I want to leave those other targets in. Maybe get some people out that could potentially be floaters. We'll see at the veto, I guess. Um, and I think that it'll be the best move, ultimately. Who will win the power of veto? And will it be used to save either Anna or Aaron from the block? Find out Thursday on Big Brother, Secrets of Scholastica.